Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading for October 2021. Let's get started. <sighs> Messages from the Cancer Collective, please, regarding love. October 2021. What's going on with the Cancer Collective, please? <sighs> Cancer. Thank you. That was quick. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, I'm getting cycles here, endings and beginnings. Uh, it could also be that something did not work out the way you thought it would, and that leads you into new territory. The first card you've got is the Ace of Pentacles, and I feel the fact that it's the first card is quite significant here because I'm getting the sense of like um, recently getting some sort of new opportunity or some sort of, I get the feeling of hope as I'm touching this card and tuning into it, hopeful about something, something came about, maybe you started dating somebody, maybe you know somebody came into the picture in one way or another, something looked like it would yield positive results for you. So yeah, thank you. Something was promising, okay? Um, the next card we've got is the Page of Swords. Uh, okay, as I'm touching this card, I'm hearing something about things, like it, it wasn't what it appeared to be or it's not what it seems, okay? Because the Page of Swords, um, I'm getting something about inquiry, investigation, um, learning more about it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm also hearing Spirit say not accepting something at face value. So even though you may have been offered something or something looked promising, it's like there's a need to kind of go deeper into it or maybe it's about taking your time with someone and really getting to know them on a deeper level to really see if, if you feel that your energies line up in in a good way yeah interesting and then what the next card we've got here is the five of cups so it can be that this um it could be that in this inquiry and in this investigation energy with the page of swords here that it, it could be creating a focus on the disappointments or on the negative sides of this connection or of relationships in general. I hope that makes sense. So rather than f investigating as a way to expand and learn and grow, it's sort of bringing one's energy down. This could be you, this could be someone else, um, just sort of in your love life, what's going on at the moment. So it could be an, a, a focus of that. And it's about really seeing the bigger picture of what's happening. This, yeah, I just heard them say this Ace of Pentacles is still an opportunity. It's just maybe not what you thought it would be or it requires a bit of a, uh, I'm hearing the word reality check, actually. Um, I'm also getting, for some of you, it could be with the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups energy that upon further investigation, it's like you realize that something is not for you, okay? But the the Five of Cups is not an energy that's walking away. That's the eight. So it could just be that you are feeling, I'm getting this sort of feeling burdened. Uh, maybe you are disappointed that it's not what you thought it was, but I don't see any movement away from it just yet, okay? Look, we've got the Two of Cups. So this is about a connection, um, and I was seeing this a lot actually when I was shuffling for you. So it is about a connection and a fairly new one or it going to a new level. More investigation is needed. Let's see what happens after the Five of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups and then the Five of Pentacles. So feeling left out, feeling in the cold. Um, I'm also hearing feeling abandoned, okay? Maybe maybe something started off really going very well and then it fizzled out or upon further investigation or more inquiry, you know, sort of dating and getting to know the person, you realize something and um, see how I said that there wasn't movement going away just yet, but the Five of Pentacles is already someone being left out. And I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm hearing spirits say in the doghouse, 
being in the doghouse. That's kind of the way it's being described to me. Uh, let's clarify these energies a bit more. Let's clarify first the Ace of Pentacles. This opportunity, this something that was promising here. What can we get more about this energy? Ace of Pentacles, please, for the Cancer Collective. <sighs> Cancer. Thank you. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is about everything in your life changing. A stroke of luck, the luck changing. The It's almost like um, because of a change of energy, what you are attracting now has shifted. So it could be that you, yeah, it's like you had some sort of breakthrough. And as a result of that, it's like you, ch I'm hearing you changed your karma. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. You change your karma, the wheels shifted, and then this is what came to you. So I do, yeah, as I said earlier, I do feel that this is still something very positive. Growing you, expanding you. Interesting. Okay, now let's get to the heart of the reading. We've got the Page of Swords and Five of Cups. This, this, it not being what it seems. What is this for the Cancer Collective, please? Thank you. I want to get another one. Cancer, please. Thank you. You got the Seven of Swords and you got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so things were not what it seemed with this person. Um, it could be that this, now this is not obviously going to be for all of you, but I'm getting the sense it could be for some of you or one of you out there at least. Someone may have lied about and I'm, I'm hearing the word lie, okay? I wouldn't use that unless I was like actually hearing it. Um, but lying about finances or lying about abundance. Somebody somebody not being honest about their position, let's say. Um, their, their stability, their finances, their career. Like somebody was, they, yeah, because they're giving me something about a veil here. And perhaps upon further inquiry with the Page of Swords, you realize that um, if maybe you are also somebody that you you are still in this energy, you're still asking questions or you've had that feeling, but with the Seven of Swords here, your this feeling was correct, you know, that something wasn't what it seemed. Okay, let's get the Five of Cups, please. Thank you. Three, yeah, look, Three of Swords. Disappointment, heartbreak, um, you thought that it was gonna be the one, you thought this was it, this was gonna be successful, and it, and it wasn't. But I'm, I'm hearing spirits say, you know that saying like, um, rejection is God's protection, that saying, that's what's coming through here. So sometimes things don't work out for very good reason. It's almost like there's a reason for you to have experienced this. There's some sort of learning. I, I'm all, okay, thank you, spirit. I'm hearing something about um, you thought you wanted this kind of relationship or you thought you thought you wanted this kind of person or you thought that these things were important. But through this experience, you have realized or are realizing um, the truth of what you value. It's like the surface things don't matter anymore. You're realizing that the values, the, the, the person's principles and things like that um, are way more important because someone here wasn't being honest um, and it's helping you to realize to, okay, I'm hearing them say, it's helping you to align um, with the truth of uh, what you are wanting, okay? So let me see if I can get, thank you. And look at that, beautiful, four of wands. So this is your stability. Uh, this is what happens after the, or clarifying, let's say the uh, five of pentacles. So it looks like for a lot of you moving away from this and, and kind of, I'm hearing more specifically moving on from this experience um, is, is setting you on the right path to finding your true stability, your true happiness, because now you realize what matters and what's important. So just take it on the chin, um, just put it down to a, a learning experience that was worthwhile, that sets you on the right path. Okay, Cancer, that's what I got for you. I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you resonate with my work, and all additional information, including personal readings, will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.